don't always see the night. They say they want a real one. They say they want a real one to make them feel young. Hey yo, what's good family? Welcome back to Astro Nori for another video. Today we're gonna go ahead and talk about the full drop list for Supreme Week 15. In yesterday's video, we kinda had like a couple items coming out. Today we got the full shit and I'm not gonna lie, some of these drop list items are kinda dookie. There is an unseen beanie which is actually kinda clean. I'm probably gonna cover the last little bit of details for the box logo that's gonna be coming out and then we'll get straight up out of here. If you do end up enjoying this video, snap a fat like on it down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are in the wood and more of this type of content click the post notification bell so you're notified each and every time i post a new video so i am gonna say that i'm low-key selling a couple items on my instagram astro bodega you definitely should check it out i got some old jordan ones on there some jordan sixes a supreme headband is on there supreme t supreme shoulder bag and i might have a couple extra items on there as well definitely go ahead and give that a look but without any further ado you already know let's get straight to it. so we're gonna start with the whole refrigerator wear collab i am gonna cover the box logo but i'll talk about that in a little bit we got this refrigerator beanie which is gonna retail for 36 dollars i believe that this one's only gonna come in one color which is the black one this is the same design that we saw on the back of that jacket but it's on the front of this beanie and i feel like it looks so much better on a beanie than on the jacket it's just blown out of proportion on the jacket in my opinion there's actually a lot of people hitting me up about the jacket saying that it's fire and i will get to that in a little bit the beanie is actually not that bad i would probably consider going for this if i take the l on the box logo beanie and the hoodie this might be an item that i end up going for i did cover the pills skate deck yesterday it's still nothing too good bro nothing too crazy i'm probably just gonna sleep on that if that's a design that you like this might be an item for you but for me it's just a dub in general so i'm gonna leave that shit right there it's also gonna retail at 50 dollars, which isn't all that bad if you ask me you got the face mask zip up sweatshirt which i'm still low-key gonna see that this might have some kind of resell bro the fact that it has a face mask on the hoodie is definitely a plus in these times you don't got to remember to bring a face mask if you just got the hoodie and it's already there for you that's kind of clean and i'm honestly trying to think like bro did they know that this shit was gonna happen because why would they put this on the lookbook or was this even on the lookbook i don't remember seeing it but hey that's just me we're gonna have the small box tees restocked this week as well from these i only like one color and it would probably be that purplish even that red rusty orange color is pretty clean as well but i probably would just stay away from it it's gonna retail at 58 dollars and the zip up is gonna retail at 168 dollars we got a couple hats one being the reactive print camp cap i wonder what the whole reactive thing means i don't even know what that is does it mean it changes colors or like what is going on with that i don't know you got the camp cap with the flaps on it the deep pile joint i would never wear some shit like this bro like why is the flap holding down like why do you even need a flap just put a hood on bro like come on let's keep it simple for all of us like you could literally just slap a hood on and it's better than this hat right here shit is kind of ass bro i'm not even gonna sugarcoat it or nothing like that we got the logo striped jaguar jeans and we got the button up both of them equally ass i'm gonna step to the side for you real quick both them shits is ass bro i don't know which is worse the pants are whatever and then the top is also the same definitely skipping on both of these items right here i'm gonna go ahead and talk about the box logo a little bit real quick we do have the hoodie and we got the beanies as we've said before there is people saying that that navy blue color might not really be navy blue and it might be a royal blue from like leaked pictures i haven't found that image anywhere so if you do have it send it to me on instagram if it is a royal blue that would probably be the one that i end up going for that would be a banger but i feel like this is a good item that you could definitely hold and it will gain value as time goes on i don't know how i feel about selling it right away but nowadays if you need the money bro go for it i personally would end up keeping this in the collection and just see where it goes and if i get one of the colors which i like like the cream if that blue is a royal blue is a banger i even like the navy i'm not gonna lie the olive is a banger if i get any of those three colors or the black i would definitely keep this in the collection i love supreme hoodies these are the hoodies that i literally wear so i wouldn't mind keeping this but at the end of the day if somebody was to offer me a thousand for this hoodie right here which obviously is not gonna go for that i'm taking it bro like like it's over it's gone like at the end of the day there is risk and reward if you're gonna go for this item i would definitely recommend have your phone on deck have your laptop ready to go everything ready to go i wish you guys the best of luck i honestly would recommend you if you are in the u.s to 
watch the EU live cop and make sure you know exactly where the color that you want is. Check out which one sold out the last or the first and I would typically recommend going for the ones in the middle near the end type shit. Like for example, if the last one that sold was the black or the red or whatever, don't go for those. Go for the ones that sold out like third to last and those ones that are in the middle because typically people watch the EU live cops and they're like, yo, the black one sold out last, I'm going for the black one. If you go for like the third to last one, you still have a shot. But hey, if you're trying to go for a color for the personal, I do wish you guys the best of luck in general. Hopefully we are all able to cop tomorrow. The beanie is the same shit, honestly. I really do like this beanie and I feel like I'm gonna try to go for it and keep it if I do end up getting it. Retail for the beanie is 38 and for the hoodie is 168. The beanie is gonna go for like 100 to 120, maybe on the low end, 90 to 80. And then the hoodie is gonna go from four to 600, depending on color and size. For the size on the hoodie, I would definitely recommend small then XL then large then medium that's the way that I would personally go for them but I do want to say that if you guys are trying to boost your chances when it comes to these releases you should go ahead and check out Addict.io I think they're gonna restock one more time before the year is out they have actually been updating the bot like crazy so I'm excited to try it this week they've been working a lot behind the scenes to make it better than what it was in the past and you definitely don't want to miss out it is a one-time payment of $130 with my promo code you can get 10% off as well and they cover 85 plus stores like Supreme, Palace, Kith, Undefeated, Yeezy Supply and a bunch more. I feel like you should go on their website, sign up for their newsletter so you're notified whenever they do restock and just check out what they have to offer. It might be something that you can benefit from. Honestly, I'm going to go ahead and use it for the rest of the season and just see what it does for me. Hopefully, I do end up cooking up. You can go ahead and split the payment into four different payments of $30, which is also a plus and I feel like if you cook up one item with it, it pays for itself. If you are interested, I'm gonna leave a link at the top of the description for you guys to go ahead and sign up to their newsletter. That way you are notified in your email once they do restock and that way you can go ahead and check it out. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the rest of this drop list. Then we're straight about the building. So we got like this Native American blanket jacket right here. Bro, what? I'm not about to go for this. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This is okay. I do like the branding on the back though. It's almost like a knitted kind of blanket blanket type feel just like the title says i feel like the bluish one is definitely better in my opinion i would probably just sleep on both of them if i'm being honest they're not that bad the anti-hooded sweatshirt is actually pretty clean this kind of reminds me of a piece that they dropped mad long ago i don't really remember what it was but it does have the anti everything on the back of it and then on the front you have the small crest logo with the a inside of it then on top of it it says supreme that's a pretty clean logo in my opinion i really do wish that it had a little bit more branding this is an item that i'll probably just end up sleeping on do you guys see the blue that i'm talking about if the box logo is in this blue right here it's a banger i do like that blue color that forest green is fire too and i even do like the orange i don't really have much orange but that color is pretty fire we got the refrigerator jacket and we got the vest both of these are actually cheeks to me a lot of people are talking about it i feel like the black one is probably the better one as far as the jacket goes the fact that the price for the jacket is 188 dollars is is a good thing because it makes it affordable like this isn't a jacket that's 340 like I thought it would be it's actually way more affordable than that and 188 dollars for this isn't all that bad considering that I thought it was double that almost this isn't something that I would personally wear but I could see somebody pulling it off and making it look clean in the black colorway the other ones are still ass the black one is the only one that I was like hey you could pull that off you know what I mean the other ones are still cheeks but we do got the vest if you're not going fishing my brother just know if you're not going like Atlantic Ocean in the winter time fishing like you good on this right here I'm definitely good on that right here and we got one more item which is the plaid zip up shirt y'all know how I feel about this if you're not buying your plaids from TJ Maxx or like Fashion Nova or something like that you should probably just take a sleep on it for 140 or 130 dollars on a button up bro like you're wildin like why are you spending that much on a button up piece it honestly just doesn't make sense unless it's like a super fire button up i ain't doing it like at a certain point in time there was like these reconstructed button ups where it had like this patchwork of, of different patterns and different colors i would spend 140 on that but this dookie button up right here bro they could keep that like this shit is trash but leave a like on this video if y'all did enjoy man subscribe to the channel if you are new and would enjoy more of this type of content click the post notification bell so you're notified each and one last thing before we get out of here go ahead and check out astro bodega because i actually do have a couple things listed for sale on there hey just go ahead
ahead and show some love. If you do end up liking any of it, just DM me on there or on Astro Nori and I will let you guys know if it's still available. But with all that being said, I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace, stay up, and I'm out. They say they want a real one, they say they want a real one to make them feel, 